Yo, what up, though? We got a battle in week 12 in the NFC North. The Packers is at the Lions, man, in a rematch. We all know the Lions won the first matchup where they bully Jordan Love. But Jordan Love is coming off his best performance as a starting quarterback in the NFL, man. Against the Chargers, he threw for over 300 passing yards, I think two touchdowns and no interceptions. I think he had two fumbles, but the Packers recovered it, though. But will Jordan Love continue to make that stride as the NFL starting quarterback? We're going to see Thursday because a lot of Green Bay Packers fans was in my comment section telling me that the offense and Jordan Love is young. Oh, we taking a uh, we taking a turn. We looking. We gonna see how y'all looking Thursday against the Lions on the road. Like the at the end of the day, the Charger pass defense and defense in the hole is horrible, and y'all will be out Aaron Jones against the damn Lions. So we gonna see what Big AJ Dillon could do, and I think his name Jalen Reed, the other running back. We gonna we gonna see what he could do too though, cause. Jordan Love is going to need the run game to beat the Lions. And we all know the Lions got a nice run defense, but their pass defense is questionable. I'm not going to lie to y'all. The Lions defense be giving up 35 points, 28 points, and all type of shit, man. They should have lost last week against the Bears where Jared Goff threw three interceptions against the Bears. And, Jordan, and Justin Fields had over 100 yards on the ground against that defense. I know Jordan Love isn't a Justin Fields, but Jordan Love can't run the ball. He is mobile. But if the Packers want, going to want to beat the Lions on Turkey Day to get that turkey leg, Jordan Love will have to be mobile with his fucking legs. Like, last time y'all played, bro, that was not no good game. The Lion dog walked your ass in the first half, and the game was over with in the first half. So, we're going to see what the Packers could do, man, because a lot of people was in my comment session telling me how much the Packers didn't improve over the last couple of weeks. Jordan Love and offense is young. They turned the corner. We're we going to see what y'all do Thursday because I read all them comments and I responded to a few comments. I couldn't respond to all of them, but I read them all. And we're going to see what y'all do Thursday at the Lions, man, because the Lions need this game. This is a big game for the Detroit Lions. I know they up three games on the Minnesota Vikings, but it's like eight games or seven games left in the NFL season. And losing to the Packers will hurt the Lions, especially when they got to face the fucking Vikings twice this year. Also, they got to face the Broncos defense, and they got to face the Cowboys. So the Lions want this W against the Packers. But will the Packers put up a fight? Will the Packers upset the Lions on Turkey Day? I don't know. Because the Lions got a nice run defense. I mean, uh, run offense. They can run the fuck out that football with them two running backs, man. I'm not going to lie to y'all. But the problem come in when if you can limit and take away the Lions run game, what would Jared Goff do? Because we see Jared Goff throw three crazy interceptions last week against the Bears. And the Packers defense is better than the Bears defense, man. So we're going to see how Jared Goff respond and rebound against the Packers, man. The Packers defense is okay. The Packers defense can hold the Lions to a certain degree, especially if they offense can score some points and keep the drive going. But if the Packers offense go three and out, interceptions, fumbles, shit like that, it's going to be a long day for the Packers, man. I'm not going to lie to y'all. So, the Packers need to play clean football against the Lions. And Jordan Lug is going to have to dig deep in his bag to beat the Lions at the crib. Because the Lions right now, run game is on point. What's his name? St. Brown, the wide receiver. He been playing good. The tight end been playing okay. But after that, shit is over with. Like, J-Mo ain't been, ain't been doing shit, really. He might catch a touchdown pass, but that going to be late in the fucking – late in the game, for real. But at the end of the day, man, the Packers is going to have to show up if they want to beat the Lions, for real. I'm not going to lie to y'all. I watch football, all of football, and I feel like the Lions is a better team than the Packers. But do that mean the Lions can't, can't lose this game? No, it don't mean that. 
Because I ain't think the Lions and the Bears were going to be a close game. But for whatever reason, the Lions defense is taking a step back. And they offense, I feel like, again, too predictable. So we're going to see what the Packers defense can do against that Lions offense. But Aaron Jones ain't going to play. That's a big loss for the Green Bay Packers, man. I'm not going to lie to y'all. We're going to see can Jordan Love put his big boy pants on in the NFL and walk away with, walk away with a W on Thanksgiving. This Jordan Love first Thanksgiving game. Everybody and their mama watching this game come Thursday. Y'all the first game that kick off Thursday football. What is y'all going to do? Is y'all going to fold or what? We going to see. Okay, everybody been telling me, man, Jordan Love and the Packers offense is looking good. We going to see Thursday, man, because I don't like y'all offense, and I don't like y'all quarterback. But we going to see what y'all do Thursday, man, for real, because the Lions, they want to win this game, man. They want to keep the pressure on the Minnesota Vikings and keep that lead the way it is, though, because the Vikings do beat the Lions twice. The Lions still got the got the, got the us because they up three games. We, we only play on twice. So, they ain't trying to lose to nobody throughout the regular season, man, because they still trying to get that number one seed. But we're going to see what happens against the Packers and the Bears, man. Let me know in the comment section below. Who walk away with this W, man? Is it the Packers and Jordan Love, or is it Jared Goff and the Lions offense? Y'all let me know in the comment section below, man. I don't know. I don't know who win this game. I hope the shit in, in the top <laughs> or the Packers win this game, but – we're going to see what Jordan Love can do, man, because I ain't got no faith in Jordan Love. But that's just me, though, for real.